Hi, welcome back to Talking Sense. And today I want to talk to you who's probably been working for a while, maybe you've been corporate, and you're thinking about leaving to go into business. And maybe you've been retrenched. I was just talking to somebody who's actually been retrenched, but this is this step is something she had been thinking about. And what she told me was very interesting. She's like she feels she's unprepared. To go into business of course business will always be its own journey but she feels that there's some experience like doing a side hustle or something that she should have done a while ago before stepping into business and today i'm talking to all of you who are sitting with this who've been employed and you're very unsure you're not feeling confident about this step that you want to take or for some of us you have to take and i want to tell you something that nobody talks about if you have been working somewhere else for a while, you are better placed to be in business. And this is the reason. And let me give you an example of my mechanic. He worked in IT um, for some organization a while back. Now he's a mechanic. But the way he runs his garage is so professional. The systems, the customer service, when your car goes in, the reports he writes in a way that just gives the customer so much confidence. He would not have done that if he had not gotten that kind of exposure in the work environment. So I'm finding a lot of people are entering whatever business it is, but they've got, they've seen how structures are set up. They've seen how job descriptions are written. They've got the networks, even the ability to be able to talk to a customer or pitch to a customer or prepare a proposal or a presentation. So don't take what you, the, all experience matters. So don't take what you've accumulated for granted. Um, there are a lot of people who run salons, but they cannot style. So I think that's also something else, having worked somewhere else gives you, you're able to look at things differently. Just because you are an accountant does not necessarily mean you can you should run an accounting business. You can take that and run a salon, you can be a project manager, you can be a landscaper. So I think people who work are able to differentiate my skills from what the business will actually be about. One thing though, we need to be careful for, when you've come from the corporate world, you overthink things sometimes. Because you, where you worked was a big office with a receptionist with loads of people and printers, you assume a business should have that. So the only thing I'd caution you is on, just really look at what you want to do and what results you're after and what will work for you. You may find you don't even need that office. You may find you don't need to work five, days a week it's actually three days a week you may find these are the partnerships and that may look very different from your corporate world but in summary don't ever assume just because you've never run a business you can't everybody who's running a business today at some point had never run a business but it's just being able to look at yourself look truly what your abilities and then transfer them to a matching opportunity thank you